Hey, Project 5, hope you guys had a great week. So excited to dive back into the hunt uh, week three with you. My name is Kyle. I'm one of the middle school pastors here. If you haven't seen me or met me yet, I'm super excited to get to know you guys better over these coming weeks and months as you guys get ready to transition from fifth grade into middle school. But we're going to dive back into the hunt, our series on wisdom. We've been talking about the fact that if you want wisdom, you have to pursue it. You have to go after it. And last week we talked about how uh, with wisdom, sometimes to make wise choices, there's something that you may have to sacrifice. You may have to give up something that might tempt you to make an unwise choice. So we're going to dive back in. And as we get ready to, to dive into this week's video, I want you to think, have you ever had to make a tough decision? What's a tough decision that you've had to make? Think about that as you check this out. Finally, Ugh. calcium. Mm. Mm. Ah. 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 Oh no. Hey, is anyone here? I don't even, oh. Hey, Lawson. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank Where's you. my chair? It's right next to you. It's, yeah, Found there it. we go. What, what, uh, what happened to you? I went to the eye doctor and got my eyes dilated, and now I can't see hardly anything. And if I take my glasses off... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I basically have no idea what I'm doing. I, I couldn't find anything even if you paid me. Yeah. What, what about you? Oh, uh, John has been working on a magic trick and he wanted to, to use me as his assistant. John doesn't do magic. Yeah, I know that now! He handcuffed me to this chair but didn't know how to make the trick work so he had to leave and go get a book to figure it out. Well, how long has he been gone for? What time is it? I don't know, usually it's 2.52. Five days. What? Are you serious? Maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not good with numbers. Hey, can you, can you please help me get out of this? Yeah, uh, just let me think for a minute. Okay, well while you're doing that, hi, I'm Brandon. I'm Lawson. And I'm handcuffed. I can't see anything. And this is the so-and-so show. And speaking of these handcuffs, do you think you can uh, look around and find my keys? Uh, Brandon, I can't look anywhere. But! Three, call John. Hey, hey, Lawson, how you doing? Hold on a second, let me let me finish. All right, I'm setting up my computer here because I'm on vacation. You're where? What? I'm on vacay. Look. Uh, John, do you remember leaving Brandon handcuffed to a chair in in, in the basement? Uh, no. Why would I do that to? Oh. oh, oh, yeah, I did. John, where are the keys? Oh. See, Brandon, this was all just a ruse to 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 get you to work together. Yes, and 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 to get you to, there there are, there are clues and uh, hints all in my basement, like a like a like a big scavenger hunt. I planned it. I planned this. Oh, so so where are the clues? Uh, I, I'll text them to you. No, wait. Okay, that was productive. Right. Ah! Oh, 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 my phone. My phone just vibrated. Ah, could you get that for me? It's in my pocket. My sure. Pocket. Where? In my, my shirt pocket. Look, reach over there. There. Oh, okay. Get that out. Okay, read it to me. Man, I can't read right. anything Sorry. right now. I'm blind Sorry, as hold back. it up. I'll put it in my code. Okay. Okay. Down a little bit. Okay. That's too down. Is that too up, far? Up okay. a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's from John. Okay. Ahoy, Brandon and Lawson. Here there be clues of three to find the key. Ha ha, he he. Hmm. Okay, so what are the clues? Maybe I can help. Okay, this first clue is not blue, but it's true that it will who. Well, that's gotta be an owl, right? Right, right, and there's one on the set. Okay, where? It's over there, it's over there, okay, yeah. 
Oh, can you go get the owl? It's over on the shelf of there. Of course, buddy. Where is it? Yeah, just uh, keep walking. The no, shelf. stop. Too okay, far. Too far. Okay. Come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. Okay, you're getting warmer. Your okay. turn, turn to your right. Was that your that right? That was my other right. right. Okay, sorry. Keep going. There's a lamp. Watch out. Okay, found All right, that. Down next to the lamp, there's some tooth. I mean, some paint brushes. Found and next those. to that is the owl. No, the other side. Yes, huh? that's it. Is it? I found All right, it. we got it. Yes. Okay. Woohoo! Cool. We cool. did it. We did it. <sighs> Great. What's the second clue? <laughs> Hold on my phone. Thank you. Too high. Okay. This clue won't hurt, but be sure you're alert. I hate to be overt, but it's covered in dirt. Covered in dirt. That has to be outside. Uh, yeah. Okay, wait here, everybody. Oh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, guys. Hey, Kellen. Kellen, can you can you do me a huge favor? I can try. I have to go help Lawson dig in the dirt and try to find my handcuff keys. Could you could you tell the Bible story now while we go outside? There's a lot to unpack there. Yeah, absolutely. Don't ask. You got it, guys. Great. Hey, I'll turn on the outside speakers so that we'll still hear it. Sari, external speakers on. Okay, say something. 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 Perfect. Thanks, Kellen. Let's go. Okay. Whoa, no. Turn. Turn. Push forward. forward. For our Bible story today, we're talking about King Rehoboam, performed by your very own so-and-so show players. What up? Rehoboam was super important in Jerusalem, not just because he was the king, but his dad was really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever heard about a guy named Solomon? Super wise! Yeah, yeah, that's him. And his granddad was also really important. Yeah, a uh, little guy by the name of David. Vada giant, ring any bells? Yeah. <sighs> so cool. So naturally, someone like Rehoboam thought he was pretty smart. I'm the best. <sighs> Eventually, as with most kings, the people came to him asking for something. In this case, it was relief. Uh, King Rehoboam, <laughs> your father put a heavy load on our shoulders. But if you would make the heavy load easier and our heart work lighter, then we will serve you. Uh, let me think about it. Come back in three days. <laughs> that guy did look tired. I'm going to ask the elders. They served my father when he was ruler. <laughs> Plus, they've been around for like a long time. So, uh, maybe they know a thing or two. Yo, 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 elder! Thank you so much for coming. Here's the deal. So, the people I'm ruling over, they're all like, blah, 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 my back hurts, make the load lighter. So, what advice do you have for me? Uh, mm. how, how, how should I answer these people? Be kind to them. Mm -hmm. Please them. Give them what they are asking for, and then they will always serve you. However, Rehoboam wasn't sure he liked that answer. Uh, sure. Maybe? And Rehoboam thought of someone else he wanted advice from. The young men who had grown up with him and were now serving him. My dudes. Yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, hey, you know the best. best. Uh, yeah, I know. Listen, I got a serious question for you. Ray Ho, break it down. Ray Ho, break it down. Break it down. So Ray Ho broke it down. Break it down. Okay, so here's the deal. Now that I'm king, yeah. <laughs> all these people are complaining to me. Yeah, they're all coming up and they're saying like, oh, your dad put a heavy burden on our shoulders. Can't you make it lighter? So, what advice do you have for me? How should I answer these people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what you used to be. You should be like, you should be like, you know, how awesome I am. My little finger is stronger than 
than my father's legs. Oh. 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 I have been doing finger strengthening exercises. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say, oh, my father put a heavy load on your shoulders? Well, I can make it heavier, son. Oh. Oh. That is a good one. Oh. I'm the best. Oh. Thanks, bros. Bros. So, in spite of the advice Rehoboam got from the wise elders, he chose to go with the advice from his questionable friends. Hey, listen up! My father placed a heavy burden on your shoulders. So what? I'm gonna make it even heavier! We don't have any share in David's royal family. We don't have any share in Jesse's son. <laughs> People of Israel, let's go home. David's royal family, you can take care of yourselves. And so the Israelites went home and refused to follow the royal family of David. But, but I'm the best. That's the thing, guys. You have to be aware of the people you're taking advice from. It's like it says in Proverbs 13:20, walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. You gotta hang out with wise people if you wanna be wise. So watch out who you're hanging out with. If you don't, a problem could crop up just like. Thanks, Kellen. We found the second clue, an owl and a turnip. I don't know how these will help us find the keys to these handcuffs, but I'm sure John has a master plan. Oh, your phone. Final plan. Final clue. Found it. Okay, here we go. Here. Where are you? Here. I'm right here. Okay. So it's too close. Too close. Too back close. Okay. There we go. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Don't tick it or talk it or fly off on a rocket. The key's in your pocket. I can't think of a word that rhymes with pocket. Whose pocket? Your pocket? Must be. My here. What? I got it. What? Oh, God. It's in this pocket. Yeah, I see them. Oh, one second thought. Can you please help? Okay, where is your pocket? It's right there. Down. Okay. Yes. Oh, I There's hear them. There's a little flap. I hear them. Okay, good. They're in your pocket the entire time! I know! Can you please unlock me? Of course! <laughs> Thank you. Where? Okay, there. Where? Is that? Oh. Ow. I think we got it. I know that's turn, hard. Turn. 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 Ah! Got it! Okay, almost. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much. There. Thank wow. you. I could not have done that without you. Of course. Thank you so <sighs> much for giving me good instructions so that I didn't bump into everything. <sighs> I'm still super sensitive to light, so I get what it's like to, you know, need a friend's help. Yeah. Hey, that's a great way to lead into our question of the day. Reveal the question. The question of the day is. Why does it matter who your friends are? The obvious answer is that some friends will help you out of handcuffs and others will leave you in them when they go on vacation. Ooh, and some will help you out when you can't see while others just let you walk into a wall. Mm -hmm. Hey, speaking of walking, we have to get cleaned up. You need some help to the washroom? If you would please. All right. Am I dirty? Yeah, yes, we're completely covered in dirt because oh. of the turnip. It's over there. Hi, I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And this was the So and So Show. See you next time. Oh, the wall. sorry. I left him behind a handcuff to a chair. <laughs> and now I got him running around in my basement looking for clues. I don't even know if he's going to get out, but I don't care. Because, you know, I'll get more on another round of this food, this deliciousness. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, man. Hold on, wait. This is still. Do you know how to? Do you know how to delete? Um. The the world. So today we hear the story of Rehoboam, who was stuck in a, a tough situation. He had to make a tough decision, and we see in this moment he did a couple things right. He waited. He gave himself three days. He said, come back in a little bit. He didn't rush into a decision. He also went and uh, was seeking advice from others. Those were great things. But then we see where Rehoboam made some bad choices. The first thing is he never prayed and asked God for wisdom in his choice. He never asked God for guidance. You also see where he uh, uh, rejected good advice that came from elders, came from people who were a little bit wiser. 
and then he decided to, to follow some actually pretty bad advice from his friends. And you know, a lot of the times I think we can be guilty of that too. How many of you guys at some point in your life have maybe uh, done something with your friends and then afterwards, afterwards realized, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe that wasn't my best choice. Well, Proverbs 13, 20 speaks to this. It speaks to the importance of who we surround ourselves with. And it says this, walk with the wise and become wise for a companion of fools suffers harm. And so I want you guys to ask yourselves, as you think about your friends, as you think about the people around you who influence you, uh, are they helping you to make wise decisions? Or are they maybe pulling you the other way? Are they maybe sometimes uh, causing you to make decisions that aren't so wise? And so think about that. And I want you to uh, ask yourself this question. Why does it matter who your friends are? Why does that matter? Why is that important for us as we look to follow Jesus, as we look to share his love with the world, and as we seek wisdom in our lives? Okay, I want you guys to think about that. Talk with your parents, your siblings. Um, dive into this. Continue to dive into this. And uh, we'll see you guys later.